Branching video is one of the great ways that scenario training with projector systems and laser trainers has evolved over the last decade. And the iMarksman system now gives you an affordable way to actually have that branching effect when you're in a scenario with its enhancement package to the software scenario. What we've got here is a scenario where I'm in a convenience store, I'm in there shopping, and we're gonna wait and see what happens. Now, obviously, normally I'd be concealed, but I wanna show you this cool effect of branching so that you can see the effect of your scenario right away without having to have another training partner or even an instructor go through a debrief and an evaluation. So, Andre, I'll go ahead and get this started. I'm a customer, I'm getting ready to come up to the counter. Stop! Stop! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! Now we could have an evaluation by an instructor. In this case, we're just simply going to replay. The branching video tells me really what I need to know. My shots were defensively accurate. Now if I care about more than that, and I want to see exactly where the shots went, we can hit this shot history and take a look and see what happened. And this is going to show that the first shot hit center mass, and the second shot uh, was actually off to the right. Now remember, when you're shooting on these scenario screens, sometimes right after you shoot, especially with branching, that screen perspective is gonna shift radically in a way that it wouldn't when you're shooting. It's entirely possible that I jerked the second shot a foot off to the right, but it's also possible that after the first shot, the branching took effect. So again, some of the limitations of laser training have traditionally been that all you get to see is your shots show up or the red dots on the screen, and then you have to debrief it subjectively. This objectively tells me when this guy goes down that I've got a good defensively accurate, combat accurate shot. And then we get to see where the other shots went as well. In this case, the scenario obviously was that this guy was had a violent intent. He had a firearm. He clearly is showing a lethal threat to the clerk and I decided to act. It's also possible, and what I'm going to do is have Andre replay the scenario. If you'll replay the scenario, maybe I didn't take action right away. Let's see how it would have played out. as this is set up initially for another employee in the store, I'm putting myself in the customer role for obvious reasons. I don't work in a convenience store. So again, loud behavior, I'm pausing, he pulls a gun out, I go to the ready position. I start giving him verbal commands and I wait, and then he shoots, and then I also end up having to go ahead and take shots. Once again, I was able to protect myself, but because I waited a little bit longer to see if this was just a property crime, the clerk was actually hit. Now let's let this play out one more time, Andre. We're going to replay the scenario again. And we're going to see what happens if I fail to act or if my action isn't good enough, if I miss the target. Walking up to the counter. Loud, awkward behavior. I pause. He pulls a gun out. Maybe I just take up a cover position. I don't announce myself. I don't say anything. He shoots. I shoot and miss. Now we get a branch that goes to him turning around and shooting at me because my shots weren't good enough or I didn't take action fast enough. So this is the beauty of branching video, the enhancement package for the iMarksman dry fire training software. <laughs>